I want to, um, since we're on TV every Saturday, and y'all got an $80 million deal with CBS, I'm just throwing a number out. But I'm not getting a, I'm not getting a cut. You know what? I think I'm just going to sit out this I'm gonna game. I'm going to sit out this game. I just thought about it. Yeah. I'm going to sit out. Like, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not dressing out this game. So now the head coach, my, my star in safety is scrambling. Y'all better, y'all better fix this because now he's taking food off my table. Straight up. And if you take food off my table, I have no job and I can't provide for my family. Straight up. Like you I said, figure it. it out. Figure, figure it out. Figure it out. It's been the longest that y'all had nothing to think oh, about man. it. Yeah. Like, like Dion like and Jackson State. Yeah. Like, yeah I don't, I don't know, know. I'm not, I don't know how good Dion is with, with X's, and, X's and O's, but I'll tell you one thing Dion oh, Sanders can sell a pink Cadillac yeah, to yeah, Flamingo. He can, he can, he can. He can. <laughs> and they're going to drive them all too. <laughs> drive them all. <laughs> So this man up in the suite chilling, bro, and we don't know. We still don't know what kind of injury it is. Quiet. He just we don't we don't know. It's like it's like magic tricks for him. He, but he's always posturing. Kawhi is about Kawhi. Always been. I didn't know that until after that whole little shenanigans. Well, not shenanigans. It's just I guess it's just negotiations, right, with the Spurs. But you just never know what you're gonna get, bro. That whole demeanor that Kawhi had. Being humble, soft spoken, not talking a lot, uh-huh. but Kawhi is a killer. Yeah, he is. Like, he he's is. a killer when Silent it comes killer. To, when it comes to business. He's a killer when it comes to to making the moves that he wants. Absolutely. Like they always said, never mess with the like when you were younger mm-hmm. and you get in a fight. Don't mess with the quiet. Don't mess with the quiet one because the quiet ones, ones is the crazy ones. The yep. ones that's doing all the talking, yep. loud and boisterous. You know, you could whoop them. Yeah. Right. But the ones that's quiet, that's the one that's, that's kind of conniving. And, <laughs> and what's Kawhi fu- is a beast with that. And what's funny is I don't think he feels one way or the other. Like, I don't. I think he'll look in your face and be like, all right, I'm not coming back. And he don't have no malicious intent. I don't think he feels no kind of way about it. It's just kind of like, you ever heard, uh, they, they said they got some people that, that uh, uh, they don't, um, it's, it's a, they call it, it's not really a disease, but it's a, it's a where they don't really pick up sarcasm. I yeah. don't know, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a certain state of mind where they don't really pick up sarcasm. So mm-hmm. like you say stuff sarcastic or Joe, and they be like <laughs> What's man? It's not nothing. They just they don't I can be like that sometimes. It don't it's swag, you ain't lying. <laughs> swag can be like, What? <laughs> Be like, that's stupid. I <laughs> give you the dumbest look, and you be like, is that stupid? It is what I said stupid just now? But I think it may be one of them things where it's just like, it's, I'm not really left or right. I know what I came here for. I came here to play ball and to make money playing ball, and I came here to win. That's it. If you think about them three things, I came to play ball, came to make as much money as I can, and to win as much as I can. What are you heard? What are we talking about? You heard another day when he was like, ask him something about social media. And he was like, I don't go on the web. So you know Kawhi, different, <laughs> Kawhi, and, different and, dude. Anytime the man say the web. The web, like Kawhi is a, is a different cat, man. I respect him, but Kawhi is a different cat. <laughs> Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome welcome to the Evergreen Pod. We are here, and, and we started early, man. So this is, this is fire. We're here. Shout out to everybody listening. Thank you all who's been listening. Uh, we just getting started. This is only episode, what, four, y'all? Four. four. And so uh, we rolling. Uh, I'm DM. Shout out to my co-host, Dante. What's happening? What's happening? My other co-host, Doug. What's up? And our other co-host, Swag. I mean, Swag. You know what I'm saying? So we here back for another one. Uh, evergreen, you know, we, we try to explain every now and then, but it just means it's going to stay green. Uh, we may talk about things that are date sensitive, but the subject matter will, will be something that's Relevant a long time. You know, I thought about too, bro. Evergreen too, because like a lot of the sports that we talk about is full of green, like mm-hmm. green football fields. And mm-hmm. I mean, we don't talk about golf, but there's the greens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but a lot of sports have a lot of, lot of green. So I think that's a cool little play too. Yeah, man. Evergreen pop. But we here, man. How y'all feeling, man? Y'all good? We good. We good, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm fresh. I'm fresh. Doug fresh off vacation. I'm fresh, I'm fresh from the beach. <laughs> that man, man got him a little tan. Got, you know what I'm saying? Ready, he ready, bro. <laughs> he came in with his sunglasses on, man. I said, I said let's go, man. We about to turn it up, man. Yeah, man. So we, we got a lot to talk about today. Yes, sir. Because today, um, and I'm only saying these, I know it's evergreen, whatever, but we're going to say some dates because this date that we're about to talk about right now is actually historic and it's actually going to last. Everybody's going to be talking about this date for years and years to come. You know what I'm saying? They might need to make it like a national holiday out of it. <laughs> In years to come, we'll call it a, a college emancipation day or right, something like real. that. July 10th. July 10th, right, right, right. <laughs> but today, is, right now, when we're recording this, is is uh, June 30th. And at midnight tonight, 
which will be July 1st. The the uh, what are we gonna call it? Name, image, and likeness. The name, image, and likeness. The floodgates are open. <laughs> I mean, right. it's now. It's and if you if you're familiar, if you're not familiar with name, image, and likeness, Don, go explain to him. Yeah. Uh, so basically, starting tomorrow, uh, college athletes will be able to profit off of their name, their image, and their likeness. Sheesh. Um, basically, your local car dealerships, uh, shoe companies. Uh, anywhere money is made. Anywhere money is made, <laughs> we'll be able to sign collegiate athletes to any kind of endorsement deal, any type of. A shoe deal, any type of av- social media advertisement. If you, if you got a large social media following, I can't wait to see the first church. <laughs> Man, it's about to get come yeah, on it, down it, the service on Sunday. It's, it's gonna get wild in these streets. That's all I can say. It's I love it though. I love it. We've been talking about it the last few podcasts, but I love it though. Yeah, as an athlete, as a, as a former college athlete, how does it make you feel? I mean, this man face. Man, my face is like and it's not from the sun either. I'm not I'm not red right now because of the sun. I'm red because I wasn't born at, at the right time. But look, you know, I'm ready. I came with my shirt with more money. So I need more money coming my way. Uh, we need some we need some back pay. But no, all seriousness, I think You said uh, reparations, you need some uh, college we, reparations. We need some college reparations from right. past athletes. We built this. We built yeah, we like one of those we, we built this. We started the foundation. Give me my money. <laughs> but no, man, I'm 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 extremely excited for these kids. We always talk about making better people and what this is going to do. This is going to make better people. And these kids are going to stay in college now for four years. So now, even if they when, if people. they go to the league, the league, NFL, NBA, they're going to have a better product because now these, these women and, and, and young men are going to be well polished in their crowd, whether it's football, basketball, yeah, or baseball. Bro. And they're going to learn the business side of this, man. And it's, it's going to open up the floodgates. I'm, I'm extremely excited Sheesh. for it. And it took a pandemic Wow, for this to happen. Flip but but that's why that's what happens. What's what happening? I mean, we've seen in several different uh, sections of life how much stuff changed. Whether it's education, whether it's work, your medical, whether it's work, whether it's religion, all that. A lot of stuff changed. But that's when it happens. It happens when you, you know you are forced to kind of do something different. I love it. Uh, what I what I really love about it is, like you're saying, those even because I mean one of the things that. As a, as a macro complaint We're basically saying This is a, a complaint outside It's not just us complaining about it you know, A lot of people complain about It being that That young kids in high school Aren't taught financial literacy Aren't taught how to deal with money Basically All So that's, now that's Before they even before, Even if they don't go professional In, in their, their sport of choice They're, at, they're still Gonna learn how to deal with money first, before be before they leave the the. I mean, college is, is while you think you grown, you're not really out there. Right, right, right. right? This, is, this is the truth. You're this not really out there. It, it's still it's still a closed it's still a closed environment. You right. still have security that, that right. patrols campus. You still you know you you still you still in a nice area. You know, semi nice area, depending on what college you at. Right. And you still kind of shelter sheltered, yep, there because sure. people are still looking out for you, <clears throat> right? Even though they they seem like they're not, they they still looking out for you, right? Right. But now this gives you a chance to now you get to experience what a negotiation is. Yeah, be grown. To, uh, experience it. and and experience it early, with, yep. and why not? You know, experience <laughs> it early and before you actually have to Jeez. go out. Now you now by the time you twenty one, you're gonna be a smarter negotiator. Come on, man. You might not need to pay that agent that five percent. Ooh, that's gonna ooh, that's gonna be effective, bro. When you right. come out, once, once they start learning more, and I think too, it's dope that you're learning in a safe place. Mm-hmm. You're learning in a place because, like you're saying, even college, the atmosphere is still protected. Mm-hmm. But you're still learning real life things, real life money, real life negotiation. And now I can ask my coach, "What well, coach? How did you negotiate your deal?" Hey, and now we have a conversation. I love it, bro. What are you going to do now? Like these college football programs, what are you going to do now? What's your new selling point? Because now it has to change. Prime example, and I, my alma mater, I love, I love LSU. Mm-hmm. But now it's to Go the Tigers. point now you, can, you mm-hmm. cannot say um, NFL, LSU. It's, it's, more, it's more to it. Now it's more substance to it. We talked about this earlier, parents and even now the kids. What kind of marketing deal can, can you give me? How is my kid – with all this going on with the marketing and the finances are getting ready to come, how are you going to equip them and prepare them to make the right financial decisions? So what this is doing is making these colleges 
what they should have been doing a long time ago. Right. How to just how to just how, 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 how to best man, interest. How, right. how, how to manage finances. How how to communicate. How to how to how well, to dress properly. All these how to all simple. these things are going to be perfect. Now you have to care about the actual people that's on your team. Mm. Make better people. Period. I love it. All right. I mean, that's been in my head since the first day you said it. Period. I'll make better people. And I think it makes better people, which in turn makes a better <clears throat> product mm-hmm. when we talk about athletics for college well, well, and for NFL. Well now you can now I can now I can get down what you call it a product because they're getting paid. Yeah, not nah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I can get down. Because I was I, I was hesitant just now. I was like, you know, do we still call it a product? But now I get it. Man. I can get down I could get down with you calling the product because they are producing and but they also are getting compensated for, for what they're the producing. For what they're producing. It's all it, you know what to be honest, it's only right. It is only right. It's, been, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's been almost, right. It's almost only right. Like it's almost like it's just it's almost like uh it's slavery. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Modern day to, to an extent, you know. That's why I said. That's why I said July 10th. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, like, we, what, we figured out we yeah, free. We free. We, we free. July first, twenty twenty one. We free. Right. And, and, and this is, and I, but I mean, this goes across the board. Like, like <laughs> you, you were just watching the baseball game. Like, right, right. yo, like, and that's not that's not really our get Dude, down. Speaking of the baseball game, whoever wins this championship and is the most valuable player, I'm gonna get paid. Bingo. Oh, what about Eesh. like the Heisman Trophy for next year? Oh my God! Come on. I, see, I've thought. We, 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 let's talk. Your sophomore. Let's and, talk. And you win it. Let's talk about all this right. because now I'm talking about how far this spans. Because like even we can remember, we can bring it back wherever y'all want to. But even like we, we was talking before we started the cast, we were talking about the girl that's supposed to be the highest paid athlete. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell me about it because you were telling me a little bit about it. I don't remember her name or none of that stuff. But hold on, I'm looking. I'm looking at it right now. Well, she's a gymnast at LSU. She right. has 1.1 million Instagram she, she's followers. She's a senior. She's a senior too, right? I don't know. She's not a senior. She, wow. No, she's not a senior. Wow. senior. Oh wait, no. I know. Uh, live it, live it done. Yeah, live it. Yeah. Uh, has you know, 1.1 you know million. Know that is, I swear. One, <laughs> I know. Sway. <laughs> sway. Sway looked at you like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh yeah. He's like, live, live like yeah. Keith Sway. He, he's like, yeah. Sway. His <laughs> <laughs> voice got deep right. like that. <laughs> she has 1.1 million Instagram followers. So now tomorrow, businesses just in, 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 in the Baton Rouge area, boots, boutiques, uh, restaurants, they're gonna be knocking down the door for for her. And I love it because think about it as a, as an adult, Free we, we all we all hear this thing about wow. uh, working hard. Working hard and setting yourself up, setting yourself up for success. Right. Well, these kids, since they were able to walk, been been grinding at gymnastics, grinding yeah, at track, grinding at football. This is and true. so now all they're doing this seeds that they're planting, they're finally reaping the harvest. And I'm all for it. I'm ready to go. Hell yeah, man! I'm 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 all she got for more it. on TikTok. She does. <laughs> this man swag is a real fan. Swag, swag. swag. You a big, you a big fan? No, the question is, do you follow it up? Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, you don't? Are you gonna follow? Are you gonna follow? I should be on the FYP. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I, I, the what? I, the FYP. What's that? That's for your page and for your for something else. Someone understand for yeah, for you page. Yeah, for your page. That's it's it's hashtag it's like the for your page. Yeah. Oh. It's like when you go to Instagram, it's recommended yeah, stuff. Yeah. Have, it's like yeah. that for y'all. Score page. Like they be on the FYP. You know what else I thought about too? We were talking about Naomi a couple of weeks ago mm-hmm. and how, you know, a lot of things were kind of, you know, how old is she? She's what? 23. 23, right? How some stuff was overwhelming for her at a young age, right? And rightfully mm-hmm. so. We get you that you you at the top of the game at 23. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. I think that this is also going to, and it's going to be our catchphrase, make better people. Mm-hmm. Because now people are be, are be more prepared to handle high pressure situations with people at a younger age. You, right. can, get, you can get some of that out. All right. Mm-hmm. As as like you know we before the, the NCAA changed for basketball, these boys are coming out seventeen years old, superstar. You know what I'm saying? And that's a lot to deal with if you don't if you don't know you know if you've never been coached for it or you haven't been raised like that. All right. And so I think this is gonna do once again just make I'm gonna say this over and over again, bro, because I love the phrase just make mm-hmm. better people, All right. bro. All right. It's gonna make them better in the long haul and everything. Yeah. Um. Man. Like I was saying, this is this is about to be crazy out here. Because I'm glad this, they uh, they they bringing back the NCAA football game. Are <laughs> <laughs> they bringing it back for real? Yeah, yeah. I just I, she matter of fact, grew up playing so, that game. So, so, I love NCAA I just, football. Boy. I just I just searched the hashtag on Twitter. July first, space NCAA. Uh, student athletes are projected to make one thousand to ten thousand dollars a year off video games alone. Yeah, yeah. 
and everybody can pay all the videos. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is uh, at at Nation Sporting tweeting this, so I ain't taking credit for it. But that's that, that's who that's who tweeted. Everybody can pay. That's cool though, man. That's cool. And that's just the yo, video game. Yo, man, this is can great. You, what about? Uh, Sierra Cannon, the basketball team. Exactly. Le- Le- LeBron, LeBron and all the boys on the- LeBron yeah. James. Well, all right, so, so now we're about to go somewhere. So I'm, before we get into that, because because we're about to get into that for real, real. I start, I'm thinking, too, that it's even going to make high school athletes take things a little bit more serious <laughs> earlier. And focus a little. Y'all, come on, y'all, y'all, y'all deal, mm-hmm. y'all deal with high school so, athletes. So I guess that's, this is where I would say the biggest – Opportunity for a fault to happen with this, because um, now all that that pressure gonna ratchet up on high school kids. Absolutely, that, pre- that pressure gonna ratchet up <clears throat> from their parents, unfortunately. Absolutely, um, and I I hope not, but I, I can't see I can't see that it's not gonna cause. Something catastrophic to happen between someone's family. Right, right, I get, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Because pops pushed too hard, had him out there when they wasn't supposed to be in extreme heat, pass out and don't make it. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Uh, I mean, I, we didn't see, we didn't see it when we've this wasn't, it. this wasn't even the case. Right, right. We've seen it. We've seen it. But can can you avoid that? Like, right. can you avoid them pushing well, them too well, hard? Well, once again, I think, I think that's why, that's why people like you, you right. two are important. With feet on the ground All right. Because I can only say so much to it I can go to a gym and talk to some kids or whatever But with feet on the ground I think And I think this is important that we're talking about it here Because it's almost like the gospel You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying mm-hmm. Telling them well, it's, it's a new thing We're in a new place now mm-hmm. And this is how this works But it's only going to work a certain way If you do it right, right. So <clears throat> don't change your mind Don't get over the top You know over overthinking money and I, I know it's hard to say for somebody that may be looking at that in the long term, right. but just stay the course. Right. I mean, the the the, the if, if the finish line, if the if the finish line was being financially compensated or being right. financially well off, then the finish line just got closer to you. Yeah, it did. All you gotta do it's is got get to the college. Wait, just get to college. So right. so so what you're doing, what you've been doing, you just need to keep that, keep working with the child the same way, and don't push any harder. But like you said, I don't know, I don't know how real that is. Right. A- across the board, everywhere. I mean, hopefully, for me, from my, from my perspective, hopefully, this will increase them as far as being more social media savvy. Mm-hmm. That they clean up their social media. Absolutely, you say that all the time, Doug. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. That they they clean up their social media, and, and you know, of course, you gonna wild out. I, we know, like we we know who we dealing Jeez, with. Bro, I know, hey, bro. I know y'all. Oh, man. But man, look, you got a private story for a reason. You got Snapchat for a reason, <laughs> like like bro, make better people. God, yeah, bro. like, like <laughs> let me tell you something I did today. Let me tell you something I did today. I, I was I, my little nephews came in today, bro, and they came it was early this morning and was was the they came in. <clears throat> and so you know the first my my you know my oldest nephew Jeremy, he's on the computer watching something on Disney Plus. I think he's watching Loki or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. This was cool. So shout out to all that. So, but in my in, you know for me coming up now, I want you to get your mind grounded in something else. Other than the fantasy and the TV and everything first So you know we're going straight to Bible scriptures right mm-hmm. So I got him I got Josh they both little athletes or whatever And I got the younger one he's seven So I, I gotta like coax him to like You know just read this one chapter like come on man just, Oh man we gotta do this He was like I read yesterday I said well you ate did you eat yesterday too Yeah you gotta eat today right <laughs> Like So we have this conversation but it, it's amazing That I went into my pocket And it's so crazy I went in my pocket I said $20 to whoever get the best point out the, out the chapter mm-hmm. What I can go to Lit Pizza <laughs> And then started So I turned that page You know what I'm saying And I was gonna give them All 20 And it's not even about Paying you to read Or nothing like that It was just the fact of It's incentive We live life By incentives A lot of times Mostly mm-hmm. by Most incentive yeah. Right And it's amazing That I really think A flip side to that Is I really think It's gonna change A lot of high school Athletes to like change the images mm-hmm. and keep it clean a little bit because now you actually have a brand yeah, coming in high to. school. You have I, a reason to, but a reason to. I, I I also think on the on the better side of it, you know these these high school coaches ain't gonna be able to slide no more. No, absolutely not. What you mean? Explain, yeah, explain it to me. What you mean? High school coaches can't they can't be lollygagging. You can't be. I get what you're saying. Can't be getting around with like. Oh, we just gonna send our, you know, I, I come from the track world, right? right? We just not, we can't just send our third 
you know, uh-huh. third DB coach to go coach the track, go coach the track team. All right now they got to really get some. Coach now you got to get a. Now you got to get an actual coach that know what he's uh, talking. About. He or she, he or she is talking about. Uh, I get you. To coach the track team. Stop doing so these departments, these athletic departments in these high schools. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like high school yeah. coaches like the ones that's not successful, like they're doing it to collect a pension. Mm-hmm. Wow. Doing that it to try to get to them years to to, to, to to collect retirement, and right. and that's not doing the, the kid any justice either. Exactly. So back to the whole like social media thing or high school with everything that's going on, it has its pros and it has, and it has its cons. Mm-hmm. Now I'm thinking that the pros are gonna weigh outweigh the, outweigh the cons, but the the social media impact of it is like we we tell the kids all the time like this is your resume, this is this is your film. All right. So. Man, look, I think we were kind of ahead of the game. I had we had no idea this was coming, so we right. always preach. Man, right. look, this we is talked about it in fantasy. In like fantasy, we talked about like, it, like yeah, like bro, bro, like this, this, this is your interview. This, this is your resume. So if a company, if a company is going to hire you, and they, look, and they look at your social media, they look at your handle name, when, they're not going to hire you. So clean it up. You're not gonna have you. And, and, and don't, and you're, not, you're not getting away. You're not like if you if you like somebody else's picture, that's not uh, that's degrading. If Absolutely. you like somebody's pictures That's not up to par They're going to see that You Absolutely. can't retweet stuff Absolutely Clean it up Clean your handle name up Like We talk about this all the time Stop having these stupid handle names right. About a th- a thug, th- thug Thugging and loving it Thugging and loving 21 You know what I'm saying Where your, 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 your daughter at 55 Yeah where your daughter at 55 man put your, put your first and last name And your jersey number your name and, the coldest Right <laughs> The coldest huh The coldest uh, the, that's that's the coldest Crawford No his oh, It's the coldest Crawford That's the coldest Crawford That's his name Cause that's the, the, whoever, name. whoever's coming for him Oh my god He gonna Oh my god Oh. Right, right. That's all I'm saying. Hey, yeah. hey, Dakotas. Yeah, Dakotas. Yeah, Dakotas. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Dakotas. You can, you can, you, hey, can, you he can, can capitalize the Dakotas. Cold drink commercials. All right. kind of commercials. Sell all ice. All kind of, all kind of, all kind of drink. Drink. Man, It can be ice, Crawford yeah. in your name. First, first and last name. That's it. Like, don't over, don't overthink this. Don't try to. See what's going to happen is what what they don't need to do. Don't be like, phony, man. Don't be phony and try to go make something happen. Right. Mm-hmm. Chill out and let it come to you. Now that's all about the thing. What you're pursuing. Right. Right. All right. Oh, I, I, I thought about some more. Now, th- all right. Now, all right. A- answer me this though: Do you think, just like NBA, NFL, the guys with the big marketing deals mm-hmm. producing on the court and they're producing on the field? Mm-hmm. Now, in college, these college athletes make sure that you're still working on your craft. Yeah. Because, if but you- I mean, it's just gonna be. I think. I think. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I, no, I no. Think, I think that's just gonna be. I think. But it's, I, y'all, I'm trying not to be redundant when I say this, but it, it keeps it's to make better people. I think that's the process because here's another thing too: you got to see how these deals are going to be because some of these deals are not going to be over no year span. Right. Some of these deals going to be for the season, probably. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, in other words, you got to if you want to re up next year. I'm, I'm sure nobody's going to do no long term college deals for no whatever. You know what I'm saying? No. So, so now you're really going to have to make sure that you're producing in order to continue. Right. Their relationship. Let me let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. So if, if you if you own a business, own a company, let's just say we in BR right now, and mm-hmm. LSU is, is the biggest college. Mm-hmm. If you want somebody to be a part of your company, are you looking for somebody with a lot of Instagram followers, mm-hmm. or if you looking some looking somebody that's going to ball on Saturday night? I mean, I think oh. those go those go one and go hand in hand to me. Honestly, because to be honest. it depends on what kind of company. Because Derek is, Stingley, so. Derek Stingley is not. Uh, that active on social media, right? But he gonna he gonna lock but, you down. Lock it, down. Right. It's, it's, it's the, it depends on what kind of company you have. Because I don't think I think once again it's genres. I, I've gotten it. We okay, talked about what you're saying. Tell yeah, you what, yeah. if I if I owned if I owned uh, some kind of security company in Baton Rouge, I'd be hollering at Derek Stanley. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, lock up, lock him up, lock down, lock down, lock down. Yeah. I think I think, you know what I think so. I think it's like that. what you were saying. Like it's kind of like. Uh, like an NFL right now, you got a guy like Juju. Mm-hmm. Like he's not top five receiver, All right? But he's good enough. But he's more but he's active with on, the social on. media. But we all TikTok know generation man, I guess. Uh, like Hopkins or like Julio is the best receiver, mm-hmm. right? But yep. it might not be as marketable as Juju, right? So right. But right. And it depends right. on what you're marketing. But it, right. but it all settles out though because it does. While while you have like Nuke, you know uh, Hopkins, like he like he he'll get his money. Off of his actual contract because that's what right. he's producing. Right. Right, right. Juju will get money off of Twitch. Mm-hmm. Where he's producing, mm-hmm. right? A lot, a lot of NBA players do that too. They, 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 them kids love to get on there and play with the NBA player. Exactly. They pay to get on there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think too. But I think is we were talking about this before about the different advertising. Different. We were even talking about advertising this pod and how it works for everything. But I think different things have different modes. 
So certain things are stronger with certain things as opposed to like you don't see you don't see a lot of car dealership ads on Instagram. Yeah. Like you've never seen any. Right. You don't you don't see a lot of car dealership ads because that's not that's not the mentality in that in that you might see one of, but they're not the, the the car dealerships are not even going for that audience. Right. Mm-hmm. Per se. That they want everybody. But they're not even going for that demographic of mentality in social media. You get what I'm saying? Right. Now I see them on Twitter all the time. Right. You know, Facebook. I think it's different people. So I think that you know these guys that are that are marketing geniuses and marketing heads. They're already thinking about. They're already going to some of these companies and pairing them to some of these people that have top followers. Yep. And they got some of these companies like we don't want we we don't want that to represent us. So we want this. You yep. see what I'm saying? Like Stingley. Yep. He quiet. He ain't saying much, but he gonna ball on the field. Mm-hmm. That's what we going for. So it just it just kind of depends, I think, on the company, on what they what they're selling, who they're selling to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna make all the difference. I yeah. was I was hard on LSU, not hard on LSU recently, you but were. I was like you I were. was <laughs> like they need. I was like man, they need, they need to they, hurry up. They need to hurry up and do something because this thing about to expose. It's gonna be even playing field. Like what are y'all doing? Let these kids know that that you can market them. And you can do endorsements. But I just thought about something. LSU is 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 kind of ahead of the curve. The reason I say that is, is this: Coach Ogeron is establishing this program like an NFL team. They hired a general manager. Wow, yep. okay. You're, the guy yep. uh, can't think his name. This right is now. recent. This is recent, mm-hmm. like like two months ago. He's, two months. His his title is a general manager. Sheesh, general manager. I love it. And so because now what you're going to do now is they really about to earn their money. Yep. Because now you got to manage egos in the locker room. Mm-hmm. And so they they run this thing like like a professional football team. Like this is a general manager. He's going to handle certain things. Handle this. Ha- like it, it's going to be these coaches are really about to earn a paycheck. And because because now, now the kids you, getting paid. How, how do you control? And now, now right, like you, how said, do you control locker room? Yeah. And recently you can control you control the locker room because I'm here paying for your scholarships. Sit down. Shut up. Be at practice at this time. Go to class at this time. But now if they're bringing in. Fancy if Derek Stingley, we can talk about this now because mm-hmm. we can't get in trouble. Right, right. If Derek Stingley, you know, tomorrow wakes up in the morning, and somebody gives him two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Man, is Derek Stingley really going to show up Friday to run five three hundred yard shuttles? <laughs> is he really going to show up Monday to run sixteen one ten? Well, once again, or is he going? Or he got the money? I'm going to hire my personal trainer. Right. I'm, well, once I'm gonna again, I'm going to attract the sports. Shout out to I Derek. think make better people. I think I think it's going to spread out because I think those. I think they got some people that don't need to be next level. <clears throat> and I'm not saying for any particular reason, but if you're not going to work at it, you're not going to give your best. Then yeah. It's a disrespect to the sport, mm-hmm. true or not true, right? Mm-hmm. And so I think that pans out too. Because if he get 150 thousand, but he don't work hard, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then okay, well, it's just it's, it's a natural selection. It's just going to pan out the way it's supposed to be, and I there's going to be another young it's, dude. It's free market. It's the free market. Free I mean, market. This, man. Is, this is what we this is what we live in. The capitalism. That's what we, they say, right? We in the free market, so everything will find its level. Everything will find its level if it's if it's coaches that don't know how to God, how to talk to players at, at you know on a human level, then they'll find their way out the door because he'll lose he'll lose the locker room soon enough yep. because now these players look, are gonna look at you with their side eye when you yep. come in there talking crazy to me. Hey, you you know, Price LeBlanc just just <laughs> just paid oh, me. God, and then the, then the um, <laughs> you the know transfer, what I'm saying the transfer portal is shorter too. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like they made it short, you know, a couple of years ago. Right. What what I'm what I'm very interested, Eesh. what I'm super interested to see now is while we know LSU makes his money, we know Alabama makes his money, but Phil Knight at Nike come out of Oregon or Jeff Bezos, you know, when I uh uh I'm sorry, not Jeff Bezos. Uh, you know, somewhere like Stanford yeah. that has all these tech ki- tech right. people so that are coming out that multi hundred millions and listen. billionaires. Listen, let me tell you something. And the kind of recruiting and the kind of recruiting that they'll be able to do now because oh, now even, even in Silicon Valley, that's what I'm saying. Even in Silicon Valley, it's gonna be it's gonna be a different ball game. One of the biggest things. Kevin Durant said about going to go to state was that he was able to be amongst mm-hmm. that to start making investments beyond basketball. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that that's dope. Stanford, man, I started finding out about a lot of these Ivy League schools. Right, so now I can start oh, making investments. To, uh, yeah, absolutely. You can. Why not? Now I got the money. I can start making investments. Early. And this is what I'm saying: the people that the the people that know money, the yep. money people, right? Yep. Yep. They're going to talk to you because there's money involved. They're, right. not, they're, they're not. They're not. They're, it, it, they're, the only color they be seeing is green. Green, right? So they don't care. They're going to start dealing with you. Start talking to you, especially if they're going to get 
a commission or a percentage off whatever, it's, it's, it's about to be crazy. These places like Stanford, these Ivy League places, mm-hmm. I found out earlier this year through some friends and then some people that we were dealing with that they actually have um, patents that are only reserved for people that go to those schools. Hmm. So hmm. like these intellectual property patents. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about, you know, you, you can build a rubber band with a thing. I'm talking about like, these all these big ideas, tech ideas, these, these ideas is gonna be they're gonna get millions of dollars of investment as soon as they hit, you know, the streets or whatever, or, or as soon as they hit a, a, a angel investor or something like that. Mm-hmm. They have these just for them. So when they, that's why people are trying so hard to go to Yale and the Princeton right. and the Harvard and the places like that, because it's almost if you go through there, it's almost like you won already. You won just by going through there. Exactly. And but, so that's gonna but change. Now it's opening up. But that's going to change. It's going to change the athletics, I think. Uh-huh. I think that's what you're saying. It's going to change the athletics some. Um, because well, they're going to be able to. They're going to be able to do a whole lot more, man. Like <laughs> yeah. I said, it's about to be wild out here, man. I, listen, I want to. I'm, listen, so, not, I'm so now you you got uh, Warren Buffett, Oklahoma State. I'm just saying, right? You got University of Texas and Texas A and M all money. And I've I've only Dog, been, it's about to get wild yeah. out here, bro. In my mind, I've only <laughs> been thinking football. Right? Like while we've been talking. Exactly. I've only been thinking football. Bruh. Come on. It's about to be wild out here. Baseball, you, you, gymnastics, basketball, uh, soccer. I mean, uh, t- uh, whatever whatever sport being played, like it's about to get crazy, bro. And the thing that I uh that I'm most most excited about, like a lot of these schools are football schools. Yeah. Like a lot of them, that's when the money comes in. But what right. about the, the sport who doesn't get the attention? Exactly. Like baseball or gymnastics. I'm track. more excited. Yeah. Track, ex- <laughs> track. Like, LS, like when I was at LSU, like we knew the, we knew the track players. They, they was cool. We knew they were elite. We knew right. from an athlete perspective, we know how hard. Y'all respected them, right? We respected them, but from a fan, they don't really respect them. But right. now, I'm I'm, more, I'm looking forward to that that individual that people can see that the work that they put in. They gonna reap from that. That's what yeah. I'm excited about golf. Yes, right. Like swimming, yeah. right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. Like all, Shout out. all those sports. Yeah. Man, look, look, cause look, you know we all we all we all participated in sports when we was young, man. Look, and I and I'll tell you just from that that perspective, like you said, swimming. Yo, that's some of the hardest practices. I play football. I, I play soccer. Swimming is some of the hardest practices that you will go through. As a human being, like, because I number one, I had to wake up at five o'clock to go do it because we we practiced before school, and then we went to school. So, I mean, like, you better go into class straight out of the water, boy. Oh, no, I mean, you yeah, time, I mean, time I know you had time to get ready. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> but, uh, the fact that I've been swimming this morning, God, right, dog. right, right, you wore out. Uh, so, so I mean, like. While you might like you as an individual fan might not respect the sport or whatever to that degree, the people that play it, and the people that participate, especially at a high level, and if if it's not a professional level or or Olympic or like Olympic type level, they they put in the work, right. trust, especially here. Right. Yeah, that's why like I don't like I still don't understand. Like you said, we kind of take it for granted. Yeah, I don't know how Michael Phelps did that. Yeah. For all them years, right. yeah. Like I, I it's, it, I so, dominate swimming. That's, that's, yeah, dominate, dominate. And, and what's crazy is <laughs> there are swimmers that are not as good as him yeah. per se, is not, but are elite and are are great. And the thing is, now these these people, they don't have to. If I'm a, you know, if, if I'm gonna just I'm gonna call his name. He my homie, man, Sean Burrell. Freshman, at, uh, he's a freshman at LSU. Just won the NCAA title for the 400 hurdles. He had, he had a chance to 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 uh, compete for the Olympic team. Didn't make it for the Olympic team for the uh, for Olympic trials. But he doesn't have to go and get the you know the the fans of say a Derek Stingley. He doesn't he he not he don't have to go after those fans. You know what I'm saying? While he might not be as popular as, as you know, overall as as him, he just has to reach his audience, mm-hmm. and his audience that appreciates him will put the put the money in. Right, right, bro. I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to reach. I don't have to reach all. I don't have to reach the the, the hundred and, and three thousand that fill up Tiger Stadium. Mm-hmm. 
I gotta reach. I got. Let me let me reach the twenty five thousand that that really enjoy watching me run, which is a lot. And that's what we were talking about with those numbers earlier. We yep. talking about retail mm-hmm. and different things. It's, it, it's the numbers, man. Right. You can really, you can take that twenty five thousand and make what he make on that. On that. <laughs> yeah, it's, the same, it's the same. It's I mean, it's the same concept as as we were talking about with the draft. Like, I don't have to fool all thirty two teams. Right. I just, just got to get one. Just right. one. Just one. I don't have to reach all all one hundred and three thousand. Let me reach the sixteen businessmen or business women that that come and sit in the stands and really enjoy watching me run. And want and want me to endorse their product. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I got a question. I was thinking about this when we was talking about uh, kind of like the recruiting. Like, I like if somebody get like a big check tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Like, is he gonna go as hard at, at practice or whatever? And I thought about Nick Saban. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nick Saban, like, he's a great motivator, and like he always like finds a way to to motivate his teams, even though they win every other year or whatever. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that going to change? Absolutely. Like the style of coaching. Absolutely. And why shouldn't it? And like, and like sometimes like the leverage would be like, oh, like you going to be like that? Somebody going to mm-hmm. take your spot? Oh, we going to see you back? Right. No, like literally, talent. literally, coaches have said, and yeah. these are quotes from players. Literally, coaches have said, we will send you back to the hood. Man, but the talent might be more spread out now, right? Cause yeah, because talent will be like, oh, spread out. Oh wait, I can make money anywhere. anywhere. I got- but speaking about Nick specifically, yeah. let me tell you, Dante, Dante can tell you this too. Absolutely. Nick, Nick, Nick is ahead of the game. Ab- absolutely. I mean, Nick he, already he's, seen he's, this he coming. Already saw, he's already saw he it coming. He's already seen already this coming. coming. This, this is somebody, <laughs> Nick is probably Nick one probably, of the most. He's probably pro this. Oh, he is. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, he was, he's, he said yeah. so. He, he said so. Somebody like him? Like four years ago, four or five right. years ago, he's already said it's it. You know on, on ESPN, you know, he said You know who eating here too? I'm sorry. Les. Would have, yeah, would have, yeah, would have, right? right. <laughs> but that's, go ahead, go ahead, talk go ahead. What you say? <laughs> Dang. Dang. I would have, like, like somebody like Saban, Saban, <laughs> Saban, uh, Saban, Saban is one of those uh, steady, constant people in college football. He's probably one of the most stubborn coaches that you ever want to be around. But guess what he did? He came in, he changed his offense. He was uh, specific about his offense on defense. Nick Saban loved big linebackers, six three, two fifty linebackers. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm giving up 450 yards a game. I got to get smaller than linebacker it's position. Game, right. It's a passing game, so he changed it. He always adapted. Got and so with this, linebackers. look, <laughs> even he knew when this day was coming, and the other, I think a couple weeks ago, recruit was at his, at his yeah, home. Yeah, at his house. Showing, yeah, showing riding, a video. Riding the Polaris. Riding the Polaris in the Benz, showing a <laughs> Mercedes emblem with Nick sitting in the car with uh-huh, his cheeses, uh-huh. with, his, with his custom uh, blaze on. Uh, showing him so his Nick, lake in the backyard, his look, house, all that. People Nick. like that, like Nick. See that's Nick why say, that's why he gonna keep keep dominating. He gonna keep though. he gonna keep dominating. He he don't, he don't, this, this is why he was dominating the right. first too. And he and he, and he he's like he said he's a he's a ship. He gonna rise with the tide. Absolutely. And, and guess what? No pun intended. The thing about <laughs> it, the reason he's gonna be successful is because after they won the championship this this past season, and this is for all this stuff you know became mm-hmm. came about and mm-hmm. whatever. He was like, they asked him, say, how do you like what do you what do you do? How are you how are you successful? And he said, the first thing people think is. After the season, they think we we tell the kids, "Hey, look, this you gotta get better at this on the field. You're not this, you're not that. You got you got you got to work on this better. You gotta get bigger, get stronger." He said they sit every person down in that room and ask them, "What y'all want to do after football?" Wow. He said that we 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 con- we concentrate on a person first, and so now as from a kid's yeah, point of view, it. but you you're it. making. Better no, he people. Yeah. He, know, he know exactly. Like, he know exactly. So, so for a kid, like we 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 deal with we deal with everybody and deal with young people. Yeah. If a, if a young kid know that you have that back for them and not what they do, that it's a wrap. They'll run through the wall. They'll run, they run through the wall, and that's why he's. That's why kids in Alabama don't really leave early. That's why a five star would stay there two and a half years exactly. in three years. Exactly. Because he you know you know what I'm gonna get my degree. Probably go to the league, and right. then when I'm out the league, yeah, I'm, I'm straight. I'm set up. A house, a house state like that as well. Yeah, I got a commi- a house state always have. Like, yes. I saw some, a guy. I, I don't know if it's D line or O line. Mm-hmm. They have a whole um, networking day yeah. where they dress up in suits, right. and have these corporations come in and they interview them. And now they can come in and get them sign them an advertise. Ex- exactly. <laughs> so you like, know what so like, what's like, what do y'all think gonna be like more like a pulling recruiting? Thing for like for a student athlete out of high school, like is it gonna be something more like that or like more like kind of like the cool factor? Everybody's gonna portray. Like I said, everybody's gonna find their level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody's gonna find their level. Like if 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 I want to go after 
bag, then I'm gonna go holla at Oregon because I could get hooked up with it. Okay. Like, yeah. okay, so say I want, say I'm re- say I got a shoe collection as a as a high school player, or you know, say my my parents are, are, are you know doing all right, and I can I could afford having a shoe collection, right? I want to learn more about the shoe game. Okay, well let me go holla at. Or let me go holler, holler at Oregon because that's where Phil Knight at. Yeah. Maybe he could he could, now he could hook me up with a paid internship. Oh yeah, <laughs> during the during the summer. See like these and, and we always talk about what's the now I can start getting my feet wet now and, and now when I now when I graduate with my you know with my advertisement degree now I'm now I'm not now I'm not going to take general studies right. Now, now I can now I can go graduate with my advertisement degree, and, I, and now I can I can start immediately working at Nike. It's gonna make college sports better too, because yes. when you start thinking about yeah. the big conferences, like the major conferences, the Pac-12, or back in the day Pac-10 was kind of mm-hmm. always behind. But now, like you said, on these West Coast schools, if you want to get in music, if you want to get into acting, if you want to get in tech, you, you're gonna you're gonna so, yeah, you're, tech, you're, yeah. you're, you're gonna attract more of these kids. Was is, is make it more competitive? Like for college football to me is is good when USC is good. Yeah. It's a good one. I mean, UCLA is good. Oh, it's, absolutely, it's, 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 man, absolutely. Man, just the just the look of it's good with Florida State, Florida, yes. Miami. To it's be, good, man. To like, be to be to like just seeing like Florida State is trash. Right. I, I know no. we say no, we're trash. No, no, right, right, no. Right. But from what it, from, from <laughs> what, what we, we remember, from what we remember, we remember. Like, I want to go to Florida State. I want to have my dress cropped up, yep. you know, like Dag Brooks. Yeah, with boy, I, had, I, had the, I had the starter what? jacket, boy, with the with the war chant playing in the background. Dog, hey, look. Like come look, on, man! Like, <laughs> look, me, it, it I'm talking about football. made my skin tingle, dog. What? Watching, watching that, and watching that Cherokee Indian, Indian ride out there on the on the Appaloosa horse. Oh man! And stick that spear in the ground on fire. They don't even do that no more. Huh? They still do it. Last I last I saw, they were still doing it. They might not have did it last year because of COVID. Right. Uh, they don't need to do it no more man, until man. they they start winning some games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't. <laughs> they don't. They they, they they need to pack the pack the all black unconquer jerseys Ooh. away. Cause them most was cold. Right. Oh my god, them most was cold. But uh, sheesh. But yeah, that, like you saying what the, what the recruiting pitch now is. Now you have to recruit them as a person. As a person, you have to, you have to recruit them as a human. You got to recruit them as a human being. Everybody says that they going after trying to you know they want the you want these kids to be you know good people. I mean, we want to recruit. But no, no, you really now you really got to have develop a relationship with these these people. It's no more like you can't tell a kid now, man. When you come here, we're gonna build a defense around you. Like you, you gonna you gonna be our stud outside linebacker in a three four defense, or you gonna you gonna come in and start right away. Because what happens is that's why kids leave because you promise a certain thing on the, on the field, right. and then that doesn't happen. The first thing you want to do is go upstairs in the football right. office and transfer. Right. So now, like you said, you gotta cre- uh, recruit them as, as a human being. Yeah. And you, and now you kind of recruit. Obviously, you're always recruiting the family, recruiting the parents. Yeah. Absolutely. But now their decision too. That's gonna be the, the main sticking point as well. Mama gonna say, "Put us in a crib, move us." Right now, I got a question. Mm-hmm. So now that they, where does that stand with with? And we, it may be something we have to look into and we'll see how it plays out. Mm-hmm. Because now we've been talking about more so endorsements mm-hmm. from outside of the colleges, mm-hmm. right? But where does that stand financially from the from the college as a business? Because the college is a business, right? Right. And, and with money flowing and pays for different things and ever, and that student, I don't think we're talking about can't. them paying directly. They won't be. They won't unless they are going to pay these all the students. Athletes, right? mm-hmm. well, well, no, no, man, that's, that's gonna cause some problems. But yeah. that's what I, I'm, yeah. I, what, I'm I, what, I, what I'm thinking is they either gonna put the entire team on. Like just say like a game day, like a game day yeah, fly, I, a, a game day manual. They have right. like the the rosters and everything in it. You either gonna put the entire team picture up there, or you ain't gonna put nobody on there and just put LSU Tigers. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, th- I think I think I think they're gonna be able to figure it out because I just thought about it. while I was talking to you, the answer kind of came to my head because even before this was legal, we knew stuff was going on. Well, it's legal. Well, well, you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about. It's always been legal. I'm talking about. It's, it's just not against the bylaws. NCAA, NCAA oh. legal, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, because right. because see, this is what the NCAA. This is how the NCAA played this trick for so long. They made people think that you would go to jail for any of this crap. Right? You wouldn't. No, you You'd be ineligible for a little while. <laughs> you ain't right. getting. You're not getting kicked out of school. Right. You still go to class. Right. 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 You just might have to sit out a couple of games. Right. <laughs> but so, what, like I'm saying, so what? What do you do now? All right, the game day magazines. So every every Saturday, every Saturday in college football, the game day. Uh, 
our pictures on that game day. Mm. So now the book probably costs five dollars, seven dollars. Mm. So we gotta get a cut now. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think what they're gonna start doing. I think I think because it's these boosters, man. See these boosters. I think they're gonna start compensating for these kids without having to compensate for the kids directly from the universities. If you get what I'm saying, or I, I think I think that, I think. That, well, okay. So if 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 you own said billion dollar company, I own said billion dollar company. You own a billion dollar. Company. Let's say all we own a billion dollar company, mm-hmm. right? If we are we are uh, LSU alumni, or whatever, then as boosters, we can go in and just put money up for whatever, right? Like we can give money to the kid. We can give them, we can do a deal with them, and they may not ever advertise with us, but we got a deal with them. Okay. It's compensating for what they may would want from the from the university. You get what I'm saying? It's almost mm-hmm. like funneling money, mm-hmm. a laundering money another way. Mm-hmm. You know I'll what I'm saying? I'll think about that with like, like some of these Hall of Fame alumni. Because it was happening already. <laughs> Especially from like Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Miami, yeah. Like, yo, yo, we want to bring Miami back to a powerhouse. Let's put some money up. <laughs> I mean, no salary cap. Man, bring back, bring back Nevin Shapiro, man. Hey, right. Uh, now, nah, what uh, what I'm thinking is going to happen. This is going to be because, great, bro. God. Because when you look in these, when you look in these, say, like game day manual, I mean, it's full of advertisements. Truth. Front, right. uh, front and back is full of advertisements. Oh, okay. Okay. Got you. And the same way, same way your your parents had to do it when you was in high school. Gotcha. They, they, they had to pay, they had to pay like the, the two hundred dollars or whatever to get a full picture yep. ahead of you. And good luck, you know, good luck, Doug, on the season. Mom and dad love you, right? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yeah, you know uh, what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, so I think it's gonna is it, it can it can either work out that way or that mug just gonna be bland. All it's gonna say is. LSU Tigers 2021 <laughs> And they'll do that too I Purple really purple, white and gold And they'll sell them most Just like that Right And that's it They'll put, then, your, they'll put your They'll put your they'll, You know They'll put your name in there But your ad gonna be different now Cause you gonna have an ad On the inside of that Right Yeah The ad You gonna be You gonna be Whatever whatever company They gonna be the butt of that ad From the school It's about the, Like like the negotiations And so, conversations Are about to get So through. can So now but I wanted to find out What I was asking is Is it Are they regulating Schools direct Financial Yeah with, 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 with the athlete Because I know you already Given They already got scholarships Alright Which right. is what they Talking about They were giving them before Right, right? right, right. They already got scholarships And there's different stuff They're doing for them how's, All that stuff right Now can the school Like they, I, See, guess it's, I guess I guess, I, I guess this I, Here's my real question I got Well I got two real questions well, I'm trying to think Of which one I want to ask first Okay, I'll ask the I'll ask the the small one first, and I'm ask the real big one next. All right, all right. So my first question is: so now, as a junior in high school, can these businesses start hollering at me? Because well, that's what now if it, if the amateurism, yes. if the quote unquote amateurism rules are now, I can make money off my name and like, well, what's stopping me from making it? As a a, five, a a full five star recruit in high school, and this is what that's because what I, now ahead, now yeah. it's not it, it's not going to affect my amateurism. How far, tri- how far is it trickling down? It's yeah. not going it's not going to affect my amateurism because if the co- if the college athletes are already making the money, then what's stopping me from making the money now? Right. Okay, so let me let me ask you. Let, 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 let me add, let me add this. Let me add this. So let me add this. So we were going to talk about college. I mean, high school recruit. All right. <laughs> How you moving kids from mm-hmm. this district to that district and giving them apartments and stuff like that? Now, do you have to? Right now, do you have to? Right now, you can stay in your you can stay at the crib now. That's true. Because I think about it like the instant and y'all notice some college some high schools are really gonna function like a college. Oh yeah, they already do. They already do. Yeah, yeah definitely. They already do. IMG. I was exactly. thinking about like those like those really young athletes. Go, man. Uh, like that. Like that kid Blaze, I think his name. Like he just way faster than his age group. Mm-hmm. And that and the other kid, they call him like Baby Grunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he like really good or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, like can kids, man, look at look like at, can they make? Why not? He got to yeah, look at saying. look at their social media following. That's what I'm saying because kids they can got five they money. got five hundred twenty five thousand followers. Like just because they little kids, it's like yo, like everybody well, loves little kids. It's just like child what, stars. Yeah, yeah. What right, what, right. Is, what is stopping what is stop, what's stopping Nike from? Holland at them And Blaze, yeah. yeah It's just like child stars It's just like child stars Child musicians Cause now If if the amateurism rules If, I, if I'm not gonna hurt them if, not, if I'm not gonna hurt Their amateurism status And them going to college Then I can pay them at 11 That, that was the only issue I can holler, I can holler at them At 11 years this old This was the only issue I can holler, I can, I can holler at mom and dad on a, When hey, they're 11 years old hey, Y'all gonna start talking, talking A little lower bro. I know y'all, y'all dealing with High school right 
Yeah, you gonna start yeah. talking to these? Um, oh, yeah. oh no, I don't. I know already. I know yeah, already, yeah, prepped, yeah, them. Yeah, I yeah, already yeah. prepped them. I know already prepped them. I'm like, hey, yeah. no, y'all need to get on this like now. Yeah, because uh, because uh, all right, I, so I got, I got a nice little business proposition for us too. You know, so, okay, so, so, I so here, I, just, I don't know why I wasn't looking. I was looking at some stuff online. Here's my big. Here's my big question. Now me as a collegiate athlete, no, let's, let's not me. I, I wasn't one. Let's talk to let's talk to one that was somebody who was. Doug as a collegiate athlete. Let's say let's say you know you playing now. You in the prime right now. So now, what, what year was that? What year was that? You call your prime year LSU, like your, your biggest year, sophomore junior year, sophomore junior, so 06, 07. You won the championship, huh? mm-hmm. okay. okay, so. Like, so, so yeah, so my sophomore year, 06 and 07, one oh seven. You were like, at, 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 at what age are you at the time? 07, I had just turned twenty. Okay, cool. All right, so let's let's let's, let's, make, let's bring twenty year old Doug into twenty twenty one. Uh huh. All right. Jeez. So now I'm the starting middle linebacker for the LSU Tigers. I'm, I'm top rank, top rank LSU Tigers. Top ranks LSU Tigers. I'm 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 producing, right? I'm producing on the field. Am I now Because when I walk out there With Beckwith on my back In purple and gold Number 48 And recruits are seeing me play And they are deciding that they want to come to school Because of me And I'm bringing Resources to the school hmm. Now Kickback. Is my, do I, Am I getting paid off of The TV deal Am I getting because because I'm partly uh, see, I am part, see, I am partly in, I'm, I, I am the starting middle well, linebacker. That's no, that's I'm, next. That's next. Dante. I'm on the field. That's next. That's next. Remember we were talking about somebody going going to do something to talk about back pay or whatever. The next thing it's a floodgate, bro. The next thing is going to be like how do we get money off? It's going to be like a CBA. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you either going to have to have a union for right. Uh, and, and negotiate Or oh, everybody gonna be Out y'all wilding <laughs> Well and, and they are They already do it anyway With, with recruiting They're yeah. already So you already kind of um, Like so like when, For instance when I, when I was in college We had recruiting trips And It's almost like Every weekend bro I was hosting somebody Every single weekend I was hosting this person Because They feel like the personalities Can match And, and, and they can match you. So we was doing it We was doing it Every single every single weekend Right Now we weren't We weren't, we weren't getting paid uh, stipend, stipend, like right. getting paid, whatever. But but, yeah. but it's still so now with this, I think it's still it's my time that I'm using now. Right. So when I when I host these visits, I, 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 you I, on my time. Now. You on my time. So do I need to get paid? Yeah. The, the fact about it, and the, the coach is going to be the ones, the teams is not going to be successful. They're going to try to beat around the bush. Yep. When I say that, is this? So like when you try to talk about a player, when I was in college, uh, I remember a coach told me they're they're in high school they're looking for a linebacker just like me. Right. So the teams that's not going to be successful is not going to tell Montreal that they're not going to say Montreal we're looking we're looking for a safety just like you because right. she may ask for whatever how much, any right. money anything like that now mm, so it, but it. the successful colleges want like Alabama Nick Saban people like Clemson people right. like Ohio State right. they're going to say look we need somebody just like you yep. this this is what we got this is what we need this is how much we're willing to give you All right uh, well well that, okay <laughs> that, now that's one big aspect of it right right mm-hmm. but. I guess my thing is saying is LSU is on on T on on prime on either prime time or the second well, or the, or the, or the second it. or the second slot game every Saturday, right? Right. As, if me as a player, if we in the top five, right? If we in the top five, and I'm a starter, and we on TV every week, am I yeah. am I responsible for us being that's on TV true. every week? And then why am I not getting they're compensated? Gonna, that's true. For the TV money, that, they're gonna, they're, they're well, I'm not getting that. that. They're gonna well, I'm not getting that. a piece of that, that's that TV true. money. Well, they get, that's and, true. Because no. I'm keeping you. Yeah. I'm keeping you on TV. Because if me and my homies wasn't here, the yeah, only thing. On but I'm gonna tell you, the only thing that I think is going to curb that because you got SEC Network, Whew. you got Big Ten Network. Right. You go play anywhere. We know guys. Texas, like, uh, Network, Longhorn Network, Longhorn Network. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. I think the only thing, though, I think the only thing is gonna curb stuff like that. I think these boosters. First of all, these boosters to me always wanted to put money on these kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, but they just held back, and they would spend a lot of money. They they are, I mean, they, they spend buku money for that stuff, right? All right. I think where it's going to curb is to be a lot of conversations like that, because if we get into the part where we got to go into negotiating and get a union and do TV money and stuff like that, that is going to get phenomenal across the country. Mm-hmm. I still think it's dope, but but the 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 
the I love it. The shoot, boy, I love like, it. I love the idea. Figure it but out. I, I think. I think they're. Yeah, figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. But I think. I think <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but I think. I think what they're gonna do is start counteracting some of these costs with these boosters. I think they're gonna start doing. I think they're gonna start throwing so much money at them in certain places that I think a few. There's gonna be a few of them that's gonna start thinking TV money, like what you said. Mm-hmm. You know, they're gonna hate that we said it on here. But mm-hmm. I don't even care. Like they, right. right? There's gonna be a few of them that can think that and have the nerve to go and talk about it, right? But I think they're gonna curb a lot of that. These kids are going to make millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. Some of these top athletes are going to make so much money. Hey, you remember um, a boy said this. Uh, who was it? Eric Dickinson. Mm-hmm. Eric Dickinson said, I took a pay cut when I went to the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> SMU, was, SMU was breaking. So so him. I think but that, that mindset, we always laugh. Me and my brother laugh about that. But that mindset is about to be a real one. Right. Like we about to. Some of these kids are going to make more than the rookie cap. Man, mm-hmm. this is what I'm saying, though. Like. Like you know what I'm saying? Like not let's let's not even think about the TV deal. Like Doug, like like yo, you you won a national championship, right? Right. You know how much you know how much the, the you know the the extra you know the that that got spread across. Of course, it gets spread across all SEC schools right. because you know SEC school won the national right. championship, so that that money gets spread against. But bowl game, you know, bowl game money, but the national championship bowl game, well, all money, that bowl game money too. That's what I'm saying. So now. Yo, I, you know, we so, won. So and now, I was out there. so now, so now, so now, bro. That's you know, that's gonna be interesting because if they, it's gonna, it's, it will get to that point. Like you said, Montreal, they probably gonna hate us for talking about you know TV money. But, but what's we happen now. We that's right. What's gonna happen? Is not, I'm gonna cut this part you know, out. You know, I'm gonna cut this part up. This, this is gonna be the part I'm gonna put up. You know what I'm gonna do? Clickbait. You know what I'm gonna do? Since y'all don't wanna, um, since we're on TV every Saturday and y'all got an eighty million dollar deal with CBS, I'm just throwing a number out. I'm not getting. I'm not getting a cut. You know what? I think I'm just gonna sit out this. I'm gonna game. sit out this game. I just thought about it. Yeah. I'm sit out. Like I'm. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not dressing out this game. So now the head coach, my my star of safety is scrambling. Y'all better. Y'all better fix this, because now he's taking food off my table. Straight up. And if he take food off my table, I have no job and I can't provide for my family. Straight up. Like you I said, figure it. it out. Figure, figure it out. Figure it out. It's been long as y'all had to think oh, about it. Man. Y'all had to think about it for years. Hey, Easy Street, now it's time. I think that's a good I think that's a good title for this one. Figure it out. Figure it out. No, nah, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Figure it out. I love it. Figure it out. It's been dope, bro. Oh, it's been a dope conversation. Especially for guys like, man, bro, I remember like how Lamar Jackson kind of came out of nowhere from in Louisville. Sheesh. Sheesh. So nobody was watching Louisville until man. Lamar. And Louisville was t- rock t- uh, jumped right, over right that top dude. Five, huh? They went top five that year, didn't they? Yeah, yeah they was top five. Yeah, they went to yeah. they went to the New Year's Bowl. Uh, not even that far, man. Man, look, Teron Matthew. Oh yeah, yeah, could yeah, yeah. have oh, bro. banked at yeah, LSU. Yeah, bro. But look, bro. Bro, the crazy thing about it, they had T-shirts <laughs> like the school exactly. made like made Honey Badger huh. t- T-shirts, but they made mm-hmm. them take it down because. You know, yeah. it wasn't. No, somebody made them. Yeah, you know, it wasn't LSU affiliated. Somebody right. else made them. And right. Season this is all them. Yeah. So they made a season this is. Oh, uh, Leonard wait. Fournette, Booger Nation. Right. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. He couldn't do it. Ah. Like you could probably tell me more about this, and like, well, all y'all probably tell me more than what I know. What about the significance of jersey numbers? Because it's something special about number seven in LSU. Like yeah. I don't know the full story. Right. Right. Like what's so special about number seven? Like, what's the history behind that? It was just I, it, was, it was one of those things where uh, for a protracted period of time, he had great players that wore that number. Like so, it started with Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson started, and like okay. uh, yeah. Patrick, like Patrick Peterson, a dog. And he's yeah. like, okay, well, here comes Hunter Badger, Tyron Matthew. He went number seven. And then he, he just then then it, it took us out. So every player that wore number seven has been an All American, top ten draft pick, Heisman, first round, Heisman, Heisman Trophy, Heisman, Heisman Trophy finals, all, all that stuff. So, and so now. But that's that's the thing. Yeah. So what LSU has to realize is this: you cannot run from it. Don't run from it. T- look, hit, embrace it. Embrace bro. it head on. They're gonna have to right now. There's no other way you can do it. Yeah, number seven. Because the more you run, it's gonna cost you. Your, pro- right. your program gonna go in the toilet. Number eighteen. Number eighteen. Number eighteen. Number 18. That's, 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 that's a tradition. That's the, so Devin uh, Hester, and, J- Jacob Hester. Yeah, What's up, Matt Monk? Jacob Hester. All these guys. Like that's more like the leader of the captain of the football team. So now you gotta face it head on. And if you do that, if you face it head on, I promise you, the end result gonna be what you what you want to be. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think there's no other way to go at it. Ain't no shortage nowhere, man. No, it's not. Listen, you know, this is going to be an ongoing conversation. Absolutely. We're going to be talking about this. I'm excited. Tomorrow, 
Like I, I'm gonna be on Twitter tonight at midnight. I'm just trying to see who <laughs> get the first Pop deal. In, man. Who's trying to get the first right. deal? Who gonna get this? And there's gonna be so much, so many places. Mm-hmm. Um, make better people, man. Right. Yes, sir. I think that's dope. That's good, man. We, yeah. man yeah. Trevor Lawrence should have came back another year. Should have. But he ain't, <laughs> we ain't know, man. Trevor Tre- Tre- gonna get paid, dude. Yeah, Tre- it's Trevor Tre- stay healthy. Yeah, he good. Trevor Tre- 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 stay healthy. He ain't gonna worry about nothing. Right. He gonna he ain't gonna worry about a thing. You know, this, I'm a, I'm gonna say this, and then we are gonna stop because I I, I, I I we keep going. But it's also gonna do something about these coaches from going from NFL to college and college to NFL because now everybody's managing egos. Mm-hmm. Because money's involved, so it's going to be a different thing. I think I think coaching, I think the coaches are going to get younger because they're going to be a players' coach now. They're going to be the one that can talk that yank to them and really be like, "Yo, I get you this deal, this deal, this deal." We're going to see some coaches. We're going to watch this. We're going to see some coaches that are going to be figurehead coaches. Mm-hmm. But Y'all they're, just, they're, just, that too. they're just good. They're going to, and they're, they're, not, they're not. They might not have no coaching history. It's going right. to be crazy. Right. You're going to see some coaches that may be figurehead coaches that may not have no coaching history. But they they were a marketing executive. That's why I like Coach. Oh, there's some kind of ads executive, yeah. bro. And I'm I ain't saying you, Coach bro. O like just like a figurehead because like he's a good coach. But I think Coach O understands like like he hired a general manager. Yeah, like he yeah, understands he that I right, like I'm not an offensive specialist, but I know how to hire offensive specialists. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, yeah, and, like, like, he, Deion, like Deion and Jackson State. Yeah, like, yeah I don't, no, I don't, no. I'm not. I don't know how good Deion is with, with X's and X's and O's. But I tell you one thing. Deion Sanders can sell a pink Cadillac yeah, to yeah, Flamingo. He, he can, he can, he can, he can, and they gonna drive them up too. <laughs> drive them up. It's <laughs> a good one, dude. Oh well, yeah, he can. Man. Oh, bro, it's, it's gonna be dope, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see it. But it's been dope. Yes, yes sir. Evergreen Podcast Episode Four. I'm DM. It's Dante. It's Doug. And that's Swag. Swag. Darius, and we're here. So, uh, y'all like, subscribe, follow, share it with somebody. Yeah. Um, we're gonna keep it popping. Um. We gonna get hey you know we gonna jump in this I got I'm, we gonna talk when I turn this off we gonna uh-huh. talk we gonna jump in the mix of all this and really and really get it popping because these conversations are good conversations across the board right. yeah and so um, yeah this is the Evergreen Podcast y'all we out. <laughs>